The global aviation industry was stunned by a single event. On a December morning, a Comac C929 jetliner lifted off from Shanghai, embarking on its most ambitious test yet. This was no ordinary flight. It was a bold statement. The C929 completed a simulated 12,000-kilometer journey, equivalent to Beijing to Chicago, under the watchful eyes of engineers. When it landed, the data confirmed what many thought impossible. China had built a wide-body jet capable of true long-haul flight. The silence from Western aviation circles spoke volumes. This was more than a technical trial, it was a declaration that China is ready to challenge the global duopoly. The C929's flight disrupts decades of dominance by Boeing and Airbus, forcing a re-evaluation of the industry's balance of power. Building a modern, efficient, wide-body jet is one of the most complex feats in industry, and China has accelerated this learning curve at a breathtaking pace. The question is no longer if China will compete, but how the established order will respond. The world's airlines, governments, and travelers now face a new reality. A third major player has arrived. For 40 years, long-haul air travel has been defined by Boeing and Airbus. Their aircraft became the backbone of global fleets supported by vast networks of suppliers, training, and financing. Entering this exclusive club was nearly impossible due to immense barriers. Boeing's Dreamliner and Airbus's A350 set the standard for efficiency and comfort. Together, they controlled over 90% of the large jet market, creating a stable, profitable duopoly. Airlines invested heavily in their fleets reinforcing the dominance of these two giants. Any competitor faced the daunting task of not just building a plane, but an entire global support system. The duopoly's stability led to complacency. Innovation slowed, and production delays became common. It was in this context that the C929 project was born, as China sought to end its reliance on Western technology. The duopoly's grip was the very reason China decided to build its own wide-body jet. The C929 is a product of national ambition and strategic necessity. For years, China's airlines spent billions on foreign jets, a dependency Beijing saw as a critical weakness. The C929 began as a joint venture with Russia, but disagreements and shifting geopolitics led China to take full control by 2023. The goal captured China's booming domestic market and eventually compete globally, especially in regions where China's influence is growing. The project became a symbol of national pride, much like the Apollo program for the U.S. COMAC, China's state-owned aircraft maker faced immense technical hurdles, leveraging experience from the C919 but tackling new complexities with the C929. Mastering composites, advanced wings and complex avionics required a nationwide effort. Hundreds of enterprises and research institutes united behind a single goal, a truly Chinese wide-body jet. The C929 is more than an airplane, it's a statement of China's industrial might. The 12,000-kilometer test flight was a rigorous technical milestone, not just a publicity stunt. To compete globally, a jet must connect major cities non-stop. This flight proved the C929 could. Engineers monitored thousands of data points, testing systems under real-world conditions. The C929's use of over 50% composite materials puts it on par with Western rivals. Completing the flight without major issues validated years of simulation and ground testing. Efficiency is key in aviation, and the C929's design suggests it can compete on fuel burn and range. This achievement rebuts the idea that China can only copy, showing real engineering prowess. For potential customers, especially in China and allied nations, the flight transforms the C929 into a credible alternative. The C929 is now a real contender, not just a risky bet. Side by side with Boeing and Airbus, the C929 is a direct challenger in the heart of the long-haul market. Seating 280-320 passengers, it targets the most profitable segment, not a niche. Its design philosophy mirrors proven Western models, twin engines, composites, advanced aerodynamics. The C929's range matches the 7879 and A350-900, covering most international routes. Comac aims for efficiency close to its rivals, with a possible edge in acquisition price and state-backed financing. The cabin features advanced connectivity and customizable lighting, appealing to modern travelers. The cockpit boasts state-of-the-art avionics and modular systems for easier maintenance. 
However, Boeing and Airbus have decades of operational data and global support networks, a huge advantage. The C929 must still prove it can deliver reliability and support on a global scale. The C929's biggest challenge is its engines. Current prototypes use Western-made engines, exposing a strategic vulnerability. True independence requires mastering jet engine technology, the most complex part of any aircraft. China is developing the CJ2000 engine, a project as ambitious as the airframe itself. Jet engines demand exotic materials and extreme precision, mastered by only a few global companies. Certification is a grueling process, any setback can mean years of delay. Until the CJ2000 is ready and certified, the C929 depends on Western suppliers, a major geopolitical risk. Sanctions or trade disputes could restrict access to engines and parts, limiting the C929's global appeal. The program's ultimate success hinges on China's ability to build a reliable, certified domestic engine. The airframe is ready, but the Chinese heart remains the final mountain to climb. The C929's long-range test flight sparked both excitement and skepticism worldwide. In developing regions it's seen as a breakthrough, a challenge to Western dominance and a source of inspiration. A third major supplier promises more competition and choice for airlines. In North America and Europe, reactions are cautious. Analysts stress that one test flight doesn't guarantee commercial success. The real challenge is mass production, quality control, and international certification. Will Western regulators accept Chinese certification? That's a key question. Building a prototype is one thing, delivering hundreds of safe, reliable jets is another. Trust must be earned. Boeing and Airbus have decades of proven safety. Outside China's sphere, airlines may wait to see how the C929 performs in real-world service. The C929 is more than a jet, it's a tool of geopolitical influence, its success threatens the export dominance of Boeing and Airbus, shaking the foundations of Western aerospace. Every C929 sold is one less sale for the incumbents, and each export opens a new front in global competition. China can now mandate its airlines to buy Chinese, closing off a huge market to Western firms. The C929 may become a centerpiece of China's Belt and Road Initiative, offering attractive deals to developing nations. Western companies will face pressure to lower prices and share technology to stay competitive. The entire aerospace supply chain will feel the impact, as suppliers must choose between access to China or protecting their technology. The C929 also boosts China's military-industrial capabilities with expertise transferable to military aircraft. This reduces China's reliance on foreign technology and strengthens its power projection. The skies are now a new arena for great power competition. The C929's 12,000-kilometer flight marks a turning point in aviation history. The Boeing Airbus duopoly is no longer unchallenged. A new era has begun. The arrival of a third global player will reshape competition, innovation, and pricing. Airlines and travelers could benefit from more choices and lower fares, but the industry may fragment, with different standards emerging in Western and Chinese spheres. Comac's next steps, certification, global support and production, are critical. The biggest hurdle remains the domestic engine. Its success will determine the C929's global reach. We are entering a multipolar era of aviation, with new complexities and opportunities. The rise of the C929 is a symbol of shifting global power and relentless ambition. The sky is no longer the limit, it's the new frontier of global competition.